bucolia was to meet the immediate cognitive needs that many people who are looking for nootropic solutions or they're looking to uh, off-label smart drugs or energy drinks are looking for, which is their ability to get through this set of midterms or this business launch in terms of having the sustained focus, attention, processing uh, capability. But where so many of those solutions either uh, peak and then crash or override some internal regulatory system leading to dependence, we wanted to do something that could actually support lasting benefit because rather than overriding internal regulatory systems, it was actually working through through the regulatory systems and working to robust them and increase system resilience and the homeostatic capacity of the system, not just the exogenous regulation of homeostasis. So the goal was both something that had meaningful, uh, nearly immediate, subjectively observable effects as well as no lasting negatives or dependence and lasting benefits. And then also benefits across a wider spectrum of what's actually relevant to people. So if we increase someone's focus, but at the cost of irritability or anxiety or depersonalization or even uh, decreased aspects of memory function, this isn't really interesting. And this is what we see with so many uh, chemical solutions that are working through very limited pathways. They're just working through a part of the dopamine pathway or part of the uh, adrenergic pathway or acetylcholine pathway. So our goal was to actually model what are all of the states of experience and cognitive capabilities that are actually meaningful when people are trying to create and produce meaningful work. And this is a very nuanced combination of short-term memory and long-term memory and different kinds of memory, right? verbal recall and digit span and speed of memory as well as um, intensity of focus and duration of attention and both synthetic and analytic capabilities, all these different cognitive capabilities, if they don't come together, they're not that meaningful on their own. Digit span by itself is not that interesting on its own. And then it's not just those cognitive capabilities, it's also the psychological dispositions of moving from uh, procrastination to actually having drive and the aspects of focus that are more emotionally uh, dispositionally related as well as emotional resilience and uh, the cognitive and emotional dispositions to do task switching well. So there's a whole set of things when we model it make up what we call the full cognitive, creative, productive, capacity flow states that people really want to be that many people have experienced being in sometimes but are not regularly accessible. And so our goal is to see how do we model the underlying physiology that mediates those states and support the physiology across all of those different uh, pathways to be able to enhance short-term and long-term everything meaningful for inducing flow